what's coming up this summer? You've, you're just going bad out of hell from a, a, what, a development standpoint, an activity standpoint, festivals, events, the lakefront. Tell me what you got this summer ahead. It's um, probably going to be one of the most crucial years we've had maybe in the last uh, 20 or 30 years. So we have a lot on the, on the agenda. Um, hopefully we can keep the boat afloat and, and get some of the projects done. Uh, start with Pierogi Fest. I have to put a plug in there. Of course, we got our uh, 21st annual Pierogi Fest coming up. And the reason I'm mentioning it is uh, this year we're actually going to host a Northern Mayor's Roundtable meeting on Pierogi Fest Friday, which means we're going to bring a couple hundred people into the community um, from across the state. Uh, several, probably a dozen, uh, maybe two dozen mayors. Uh, so that's going to be fun. A um, lot of development opportunities outside of the fest. Uh, we're working on, uh, of course, our mascot Hall of Fame project that uh, hopefully we have some formal announcements later this year to get a shovel in the ground. We're working on a new city museum that's going to be part, hopefully, of a complex uh, uh, six-story building with multiple uh, residential units. Uh, have two or three other residential and commercial projects along the business district, along with a new lakefront restaurant and hopefully a new hotel. So all to kind of uh, um, uh, summarize and kind of uh, uh, put together the destination concept for our community. You know, we're trying to turn Whiting into a place where people come and spend a day or two uh, and actually turn into a destination. And uh, we're getting close, and if we can pull all that off this year, we'll be uh, uh, take a big step forward. Uh, a lot of people don't understand, but Whiting is two square miles. And of the two square miles, 1.1 is the refinery. So we have actually less than a square mile of territory to develop and for residential and all our commercials. So um, when you say we pack it in pretty tight, it's real, it really is a, a really concise area and really tight. So um, we're, we're, you have to be real creative. Uh, you know, when you have that little land, but uh, uh, things have been working out well for us. It makes it easier, too. I don't have that much work to do. How about you? You got another summer, you know, the market, the lakefront, the downtown district. A lot of things happening. Our, uh, our hospital district uh, just is exploding in growth. Um, you know, our retail corridor out on Route 30 just continues to, to grow and expand. And, and with the changeover now uh, from Westfield, it's now back to South Lake. Uh, a lot of nice new stores going in and uh, just some, some great build outs that we're seeing with Albany's. Uh, you know, that's a $100 million um, build out with Albany's. So we're seeing some tremendous growth. Our seems, downtown, as we were talking before, it seems like once they build, they fill it up and then they're going to build again. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, and the latest build out was for their surgical and intensive care, which is amazing when you, when you tour the facility. Um, I, I went into one of the operating rooms and they said, this is just for open heart surgeries. And I went in and it was amazing. It looked like you were in a space capsule. And I went in and my heart started hurting. And I said, <laughs> I got to get out of here, you know. But, uh, no, it's been amazing. Uh, our downtown district continues to flourish. You know, where our 61st Avenue, our final phase of our gateway into the city. Um, a, lot of, a lot of growth that we're, we're seeing. You know, one of our focuses going forward this year is to start trying to expand on some higher-end uh, housing developments, uh, residential. You know, when you have such a large medical facility as well as some other uh, commercial uh, endeavors, uh, you have to have housing, you know, for physicians and people in the medical community. And that's one thing that we're lacking is housing stock. And so that's one of the focuses this year. I'm working with staff to create some incentive programs. So it's going to be great and uh, looking forward to it.